Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from uh, me, Alex Povey. I'm joined today by Chef Gary Bulliscroft. Yeah, uh, executive chef for your shoes in Staffordshire. Arts brought some secret ingredients and hopefully we're going to make a nice, beautiful dish today. Yeah, so I have been busy and I've got these secret ingredients. First, oat cakes. Thank you very much. One lemon. Oh, excellent. Oh, yeah. Feta cheese. Feta cheese. Oh, you know what? I don't, I don't know what you're doing. How many years have you finished yet? 15 years now. Fif 15 years of experience. 15 years. We're putting 15 years on the line today. Smoked salmon. Smoked salmon. Excellent. Thank you very much. Last but not least, asparagus. Beautiful. So, Gary. Yeah. What do you have in mind? Well, I think we'll start off with we'll have a nice warm good cake to yeah. go on the bottom. We'll blanch the asparagus off. We'll dress that with some lemon and a little bit of oil. Yeah. Like fresh dressing. And then we'll crumble the feta up. We'll sprinkle, hopefully we'll sprinkle the feta over the asparagus in the place of the smoked salmon. Yeah. On the oat cake, almost like a, like a pizza style. Yeah. Give it a quick grill so we'll have a nice little melt. And then might do some crispy uh, oat cake just to be on top as well. Yeah. Okay, it's all yours. Thank you very much. Right, well, I'll start with asparagus. Snap your asparagus, breaks naturally where the hard meets the soft part. So we've done this before, Yeah, we've done I've worked with, worked with asparagus all the time. Yeah. Normally we serve or use English in the springtime for about March or about June. Yeah, it's out of season. After season now. It's out of season now, but obviously you can still get it from good supermarkets anyway. That's why so. it cost me a five. Yeah. Good five, <laughs> five pounds well spent on it. <laughs> so just like the water gets the boil over there. Yeah. So just open these beautiful oak cakes from Hobies that I've been using for 12 years since I've been using oak cakes on the line. Yeah. Have you always been for your shoes? Now I've been here three and a half years. Uh, before that I was a uh, senior sous chef at the Edge Hotel for yeah. 11 years. And then I did start my career here back when I was 15, 16, pot wash and veg prepping. Yeah. And also being uh, so a So it's, well. it's, it's come full circle? Yeah. 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 Full, full <laughs> circle. Full circle. We were a long illustrious career. We did actually use the photo cakes in uh, the old Edge Hotel yeah. when we first started. Chef there with some Staffordshire from around Stoke, so yeah. we always had oat cakes on the breakfast menu as well. Yeah. And uh, that's why I always just learn different ways and techniques of doing that as well. Yeah. Okay, so a couple of minutes to wait for that to uh, walk under the heat and we'll cook the asparagus. So we're going to crumble the, the cheese. Yeah, so I'm going to use feta cheese. Feta cheese, it's nice, you can use it here in the summer through salads. It's, you know, it's Great white nice, like super cool style of like pomegranate hazelnut. But they're just a simple lemon dressing, things like that. Very versatile. Hard, it's dry, crumbles, and you just get a slight melt so it won't disappear like the normal cheddar or full fat cheese that you don't want. So you still you get this you've got a natural salty season in this as well, so that'll help with the asparagus and the juice as well. So it's ready. Wash your hands. Water's boiling. Water's boiling. We'll get cracked. Water's boiling. Joe, pass me a microplane. Great, please. So I've just got some uh, slivers of oat cakes. Putting them in the fry. Yes, yeah, so just going to drop those into the fry a couple of minutes and seasoning he's, salt. He's putting oat cakes in the fryer. Like I said, oat, oat cakes are very versatile. Yeah. You have got a lot of cooking there, cooking techniques with them. So just slice it up into rondelles for a posh name, yeah. or just thick slices. Drop those straight in. Already seasoned the boiling water. Just pour oat cake in the oven, just walk it through. Crack open the smoked salmon. So this could be service as like a 
early morning now, so you can get away with serving this as a breakfast treat, or you can serve it as a uh, nibble for a nibble for two people. So just separate these. There's, there's plenty of salmon there. Oh, there's plenty yeah. of salmon there. Salmon, you've got the richness of the salmon, richness of the feta cheese. You don't need, you don't need, you don't need, you don't need a lot of salmon on here. So just tear that into shapes and strips there. Have you been surprised by the ingredients? I'm quite surprised. I thought, I don't think salmon or asparagus would make it to be honest. I, I, thought, I thought it'd be, uh, I thought it would just be uh, simple ingredients from around the area. Cheese and bacon. Not yeah. cheese, but like, everyone, everyone, everyone needs a cheese and bacon, so we have to do something different. Uh, Joe, pass the slotted spoon, please, mate. A slotted spoon? Yeah. Oh. Can we have a skating board, ladder, when you're in? <laughs> Cheers. Okay, so they're okay to walk through. Yep. Just crisp off our oat cake slices for, for the garnish. So we'll just put some slathers of the smoked salmon on. Crumble some batter on now, and then we'll put the asparagus on, and then we'll crumble some more on just so we're going to Are you going to warm just, this through? Yeah, I'm just going to warm this through yeah. the oven again, just to melt, give that batter a little, just a little bit of melting. A little bit of batter on that. Asparagus is ready as well. Making me hungry. So we've got our oat cake. So after, after, after you fry it then, you just put it A little it. bit of salt, the salt oh, melts yeah. into the oat cake. That's cooling down, it's going to be even more crispy now. Yeah. And we'll just use that to garnish right in the last minute. So this is more a la carte oat cake? Well, yes, you yeah. can call us an a la carte oat cake, but at the end of the day, I just like an oat cake that's cheese and bacon yeah. at the end of the day. Simple food, it's all it has been, exactly. it's needs to be. Slotted spoon. Some slotted spoon, yeah. it's not slotted. <laughs> so we'll just drop the asparagus on there. Yeah. So it is already it is cooked by the, the smoked and curing method. 
but it's just cooked, it's just cooked a little bit more so it being that easy to eat. Feta cheese has gone soft. Yep. So that'll be your saltiness and your richness. Yep. Give that a season. Oh my god! <laughs> Such a trickster. And then if you just see a bit of lemon dust on there. Okay, there. If this isn't posh, Gary, I don't know what posh this is. is this, this isn't posh, this, this is straightforward. I do, do understand this is my kind of posh. I mean, you could charge £25 for this. Probably could. Yeah. Probably could, but we won't do that. No. Simply serving serve, serve a simple breakfast. Yeah. So there we go. I mean, Alex Perry's okay. Smoked salmon, feta cheese, dressed with asparagus, crispy oat okay, cakes, and fresh lemon. So, it's it for breakfast, dinner. That could be. We, you know, we if we want to, we can serve that for breakfast, or we can be serve as we can serve it as uh, lunchtime, like as, as a side order dish. Now, a modern take on, or like a, a take on a stuffy chicken pizza with yeah. stuffy chicken. Okay. Now, would this make the menu of the three or two in Blackshamore nearly? I think this would make the menu. Three or two watch them all, but obviously it's down to uh, customer choice at the end of the day. Well, Danny, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Been uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave us a comment below, let us know what you think of Gary's concoction, and I'll see you next time.